I am officially moving to Korea. I'm going to be living there for six months and I am so excited. I am excited because I will be finally making content. I was happily with that guy and he told me that he had been talking to another girl for a month and I was sitting there like this and so I was like okay that's good but I'm out again I want to apologize for basically disappearing on you after all the support that you guys give me which is amazing hi what's up how are you uh, it's been literally months and I have a lot to explain um, this is me a few months after I've grown up a little bit I feel good I think I look good Aww. I've been taking care of myself because many things happen in the last part of uh, 2023 and overall in 2023 that now I can talk about because at the time I wanted to protect someone that now I don't want to protect anymore so I couldn't say anything but now I'm just back to me being me by myself independent woman you know so I can talk about whatever I wanted just like I used to do so as you probably have read in the title of this video I am officially moving to Korea in the next few days I'm gonna be flying there on the 16th so yeah i'm gonna be living there for six months and i am so excited i'm gonna talk to you about the content that i want to make and everything that i have planned at the end of this video because i want to go like chron chronologically wow if that's even a word yeah i also want to make you part of my journey and i want to ask you what kind of content you would like to watch from me being in Korea. Anyways, there's gonna be a part where I talk about Korea, but I want to start by basically saying everything and being completely transparent with you um, because it basically explains everything and why I've been not uploading content and, and yeah. Starting off basically last year, uh, beginning of last year, I my life changed completely. I started working in a certain job. I was doing YouTube and I was reacting to all this stuff, but at the same time I was really busy in my personal life. At some point I just got like really, not fed up, fed up sounds really negative. I just uh, felt like I wasn't enjoying everything as much as I used to enjoy it I started to feel like I was doing it because I had to do it not because I wanted to do it even some videos that I recorded I never uploaded uploaded them because I would look at myself and be like you're not having fun and it shows that basically made me realize that I was not enjoying 100% all the content that I was making and it's not like I didn't like the music or the groups that I was getting into but now I consume music in a different way right that was uh, like the beginning of last year that's why i stopped and another reason why i also stopped is because i started seeing someone a man worst choice of my life no not worse it's okay but uh let's just say that on february of last year i started i don't know if going out is the word but i started a situation ship with a guy i'm 23 at the time i was 22 years old but it was the first time i felt like something more real with a person it was the first time that i i'm just gonna be completely transparent but i got like private with someone and it was like something really new to me how to handle like romantic kind of stuff right like we met at the office we met at the job that i started in january we had like a secret kind of office relationship which advice don't do it if you can avoid it yeah i was part of this uh company and they were really toxic like the people working there so at the end of august i stopped working there and i was like on my vacation i was so happy because i was with this guy that i really liked and i stopped working and uh three months in that happiness uh, state just to make a summary of everything i was happily with that guy and he told me that he had been talking to another girl for a month and i was sitting there like this and so i was like okay that's good but i'm out so i left and that was the end i'm not an option you know what i mean i'm not the second choice and i'm i don't want to be disrespected like that so even if it hurts me because I really wanted this to work, I have to leave. If you started talking to another girl, clearly you were not focusing on me and I want a man that is focusing on me fully. So I was like, I know exactly what I have to do and it's basically leave this situation. So out of respect for myself, I left. I went no contact. We haven't talked 
ever since. I don't watch these stories. Within those three weeks, I was really excited because I was planning on going back to YouTube and start making different content, start thinking about what kind of content I wanted to make and start like planning all these things, da da da. I even made a video of like, I'm back, I'm so happy, I'm doing great, I'm ready to go. And then the next video, I mean the next few weeks, uh, all this happened and that's when I felt like I couldn't. For the life of me, I couldn't handle doing YouTube. I felt so sad all the time. The world was collapsing on me. It's the first breakup breakup I've ever had and so I just couldn't. I tried making some videos but I was like, I can, I don't have the power to edit to do anything. So I was like, you know what, I need to take time for myself and handle what's going on. I went to therapy because I wanted to analyze everything that I didn't like in that relationship because there were many things that I kind of accepted that now I'm like, wow, that was a red flag and I took care of that. I did everything I could to solve and know exactly what was happening, everything that I felt. I just took care of everything and I'm so lucky that my parents um, have the resources to like uh, help me go to a therapist and get help. Yeah, I started like meditating and I started reading my cards and I don't know, I started a whole process. One of the things that scared me the most was that I would go back to the Sarah that was before this man because even if some things were not okay, some other things were really nice and I feel like I changed a lot within a relationship and I didn't want that good part to go away. But it didn't. I feel like so confident. I'm. It's the first time I can say I'm like confident with my body and how I look and the things I do and my um, abilities and my skills. And, you know, I, I've worked so hard with my therapist on like self-esteem and everything that was really lacking. That's why some things happened. And so I'm just at a really good place. That's why I'm able to make this video. And basically this is the, the short version of everything. Obviously I've had better and worse moments, but I'm, I'm doing really good. I'm, I'm so happy to be where I am. And I've learned a lot about myself and everything and life and, and it's just good, you know? At least I got something good out of it. Thankfully, I had this trip planned. I am excited because I will be finally making content. It's been a while since I made anything. It's been a while since I, I think, spoke English. Cause, yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. But I'm I'm back for good, and I'm really excited to to share this experience with all of you. You know, when I started getting into K-pop and the uh, and back when I was like a huge follower and I was like so obsessed with Korea I would love actually I still do I would love to watch like videos of people in Korea living and doing certain stuff going to the convenience store or just going to I don't know like the SM building the GYP building and like going to a concert doing this doing that and discovering Korea because it was a even though I, I liked the music I also liked the culture the food everything and I really wanted to like experience it so i would experience it through another person i would just love the aesthetics i would i i loved like korea vlogs honestly that's just my opinion you know so um maybe someone in this channel also does but that's exactly what i'm planning to do i'm gonna be really active here on youtube uh once a week because i want to compile everything that i do in the week and then i will be posting every single day on instagram and youtube my idea is to post like daily things that i'm doing or explaining you know my experience in the university and meeting people and then the the like extended part of that if that makes sense will be uploaded on youtube so my recommendation and a little spam is that you follow me on both tiktok and instagram where you're gonna see like daily stuff it's gonna be like a little teaser of what's to come and then at the end of the week i will make a longer uh, more detailed youtube video um with those experiences now i have many things planned y'all and many things manifested okay technically i'm gonna go to a bacon concert don't know how yet but i will like i'm just gonna make it happen because i manifested it i don't know there's many stuff that that i can do and that i want to explore i just want to go to the shops and like sing at a norebang so um, there's many things I want to experience and I want to experience them with you and be able to share with you everything that I do because I mean me as a as a user and as a watcher watcher I don't know I would love to watch those videos of people again remember I will be posting a longer video at the end of each week and then I'm gonna be uploading daily almost daily if I'm hangover maybe not daily 
on Instagram and TikTok. It's going to be more like a lively kind of content. I'm aware that this is kind of different from the um, videos that I used to make. I used to make like reactions and everything else, but I still want to... There's going to be a lot of K-pop related content, obviously, because I'm going to be in Korea. So um, if there's like any Stray Kids concert, Seventeen concert... Um, P1 Harmony concert, a festival. I also want to go to like an Inkigayo kind of thing. There's going to be K-pop related content, obviously. Also, if I'm there and I want to buy like this product that this person is... I don't know. I just have many ideas in my head. And and obviously, it's it's still Korea. So it's going to be very much related to everything I've been doing. I don't know if it makes sense because I'm just re like replaying the content that I used to watch of people going to Korea, that's kind of what I want to do. I, I guess you also have in mind what I'm talking about. But what I really want to ask you guys is to comment down below what you would like to see from me. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I am I'm save many, many TikToks of places I have to go to. But if there's like, I don't know, like a certain place that you're like, Sarah, you need to go to this place and, and record it because I really want to see it or uh, I don't know, this cafe or this event or this whatever, please let me know because I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna do them all, record them and share them for all of you. So yeah, wish me a, a safe flight and I'm gonna see you in Korea. It's been a tough end of 2023, but I have high expectations for 2024. Honestly, if you know a little bit about me, uh, you'll know that I am from year 2000. So it's dragon year and 2024 is also the dragon year so it's technically my year and also it's my golden birthday because i will be 24 the 24th of july of 2024 and i'm gonna be in korea and it's gonna be dragon year so yeah i just i feel like all the stars are aligned right now um and i'm really excited to see where everything gets me i'm feeling again mentally really good physically really good as well so yeah i'm just i'm in a really good place right now uh even though i've had some bad moments in the last few months i don't know if you've watched my video driving and doing like a karaoke kind of thing like a carpool karaoke in that video uh it had been nine days since i broke up with that guy and I, I was going through it. Like, if you closely look at it, you can see in my eyes that I was not doing good. But we're better now. So that's that's life. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your understanding. Again, I want to apologize for basically disappearing on you after all the support that you guys give me, which is amazing. And all the love and all the... I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like my little community. So I'm so sorry that I just went away but i really needed it for me i will gladly accept if you don't want to continue following me because i'm not doing reactions anymore or maybe if i do a reaction it's going to be really spontaneous i don't know I, I i want to share that i'm still me i still want to keep my kind of content i still want to make like funny jokes with like the edits and i still want to make you guys laugh it's it's gonna be me but with a different context um, but anyways, I, I will gladly accept if you want to unfollow me or you want to, I don't know, just not watch anymore. But uh, I'm just really excited to see what's in store for me, especially in Korea. And uh, yeah, I'll see you really soon. Please let me know everything that I told you in the comments down below. Also, either on Instagram or TikTok. And I will see you in Korea. Bye bye.